everybody. Mike, Rideshare Reseller here. Uh, today's haul. I, um, this time I'm going to show you from the back of the car. Got too much stuff. I can't uh, can't leave this around the house. I got to kind of get it in the house before the wife wife notices it. It's going to like one item. Anyhow, hey, you smell that? Wow. What's that smell? What's that smell? Oh, oh. Oh, it's Starbucks coffee. Take a look at that. What is that? Coffee, Starbucks coffee. That's 11 boxes, 66 one pound bags, a dollar a bag. I got this little honey hole thrift store that uh, got this in today. I just happened to be there and they said, Mike, you want it? I said, how much? He said, a dollar a bag. So 66 bags, he gave it to me all for 60 bucks. One is open, but it's just the box is open. So there's six in each carton. There are about four different uh, blends from Starbucks. They get them. Uh, these guys just want to move it, and it was sitting in there, and I rolled in on it. So anyhow, the six, uh, six one-pound bags, it depends on the, on the blend. Like the Italian one can go for 70 bucks. So anywhere from say 45 to $70 for a box is what they'll go for. So that's a pretty good, pretty good score. Uh, and I'm on their, their wall. So whenever they get stuff in now, they're gonna start calling me and they're gonna shoot me text and say, you want it? I'm gonna go, yes, I do. Are you sure I do? So anyhow, uh, the other item I got there was this little sweet little thing. It's big, there it is, you can see it. It's a baby lock sewing machine, and this was $20. This one sells for about $140. It should go for right around $140 plus shipping. It's heavy, so it's going to ship for $30 to probably $40 in, in shipping with uh, FedEx uh, Smart Post. So that was uh, the two items I got from there. So you add up, say if I just sold those coffees at... Uh, $45 average for each six. And let's say I sold 10 because I'll probably have to give one to my wife. It'd take her a while, but she'll go through it. So 10 times 40, $400 for 60. $60 turned into 400. So sewing machine, 20 turned into about 140. You're looking at five, what, 540 right there and just those two items. Not too bad for uh, one little one little spot, and it was kind of getting slow today. It was like I was like not frustrated, but it was just kind of like nothing out there. A lot of little clothes and and stuff like that. So I'm gonna cut back because I gotta get the other stuff that I got. I did get some other things. I'll show you that too. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, rearrange it a little bit so I can show you the other stuff I got. This is mostly clothing, but there's a few few other items. I picked up these Baldwin premium dummy trim okay handles two are left and two are right handed so i paid six dollars i'm gonna try and well i'm gonna do two and two but i'm hoping to get about 25 each for these so about 15 profit so 30 and uh 30 and 30 will be 60 dollar profit off of off of those not baldwin's a great name and um not a lot of profit, but hey, they should move, okay? So that's that. This was a unique one, a digital to analog converter box, okay? And that one is $3.99. The comps on this are $25 to $30. So again, you're gonna make 12, 13 bucks, but it should sell fast. They do sell, and this is brand new, brand shiny new. All right, can never kind of go wrong with these Birkenstocks. These are like really like, I don't even, they, they definitely look worn, but the, sh the soles don't. So I paid $7.99, $34 to $39 is what they should sell for. All right, now I went clothes hopping, clothes hopping. This is a, a Kuehl, see that K-U-H-L, look for that brand. These sell, they, they've got comps all day long in the $30 range, and I paid five of my senior discount down into the low fours. 
That's cool. It's getting a little windy. Another one that sells pretty good is Untuck It. And Untuck It for $5, and that's a large. Uh, those are the $25 range. Here's a cup. This is a this is a cool pickup. Um, Pokemon. I got two of these. I paid eight dollars after my 30% discount. 2011 staff T-shirt. That's the first one. So that's that's kind of hard in the wind, guys. It's blowing around. The other one is the 2013. Uh, 2013 staff t-shirt both are 2xl so what i'm going to do with those is i'm going to bundle those together and uh just bundle those so that they can um sell faster i don't want to just put them both up i'm hoping that that one guy will just take them and this is a really good one a new new with new with tags photog oh, hold on here oops drop something pretty clean it's clean uh, a Domkey, fo Domkey, Photogs, uh, fishing vest slash photographer's vest. Uh, I did pay, I think, with my discount. I came into eight dollars, and um, it's new, so this should be between fifty and sixty-five dollars, is what I'm thinking. And then the last one is a, another Kewl. Now this one here, same thing, very. You know, it's a little different. This is not the outdoorsy one, but this one has a comp, the same shirt that sold for $45 used. So uh, another good item from them. So I'm starting to just basically look for um, items in the clothing section that really are name brand. I'm not messing with uh, a whole lot of uh, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger unless it's really unique I've got a few of those here and there to test out to see how it works but some of these brands are just like watered down so bad so you got to really be picky and, and you got to come in and and uh, buy the uh, brands that are hot or not so well known like Kuhl K-U-H-L uh, didn't know I think it's a German brand and uh, I picked up those so I'm looking for those um, untuck it because untuck it brand new is over a hundred dollars so you can't really fail with that brand and then trying to find as many vintagey type t-shirts as I can uh, that I can flip quickly uh, I want you know sometimes you, you, you forget about clothing in a sense that the good clothing will sell rather rapidly especially if it's priced right so uh, don't don't give up on, on clothing sometimes uh, Many people are getting discouraged with it because the prices are going up, but uh, there's there's some room out there. I'm excited. Uh, I'll let you know how the coffee goes. And anyhow, um, I got a barking dog now. <laughs> anyhow, uh, it's been a good day. Uh, I hope that you pick up on a few of these things here and maybe you can find some. Don't forget about food. There's a big category with food too, so uh, I will talk to you later.